Hey guys, Joseph here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So this time I have a brand new TV by Hisense. So this is the HAG 2020 edition. This is a full array local DMT TV with quantum dot. It also supports HDR, Dolby Vision, 700 nits of peak brightness, around 90 dimming zones. So you get a very good contrast. And also with the quantum dot, colors look beautiful. So if you're looking for a TV that is not gonna break your wallet, this is a 65 inch version. It sells for around $700. This is probably gonna be the video for you. So this is gonna be the first initial video. I'm gonna take a look at how uh, everything works, how the Chromecast works because this is an Android TV. So welcome to the channel guys. I'm Jolster and let's do this. All right guys, so before I move on, I just wanted to show you a little bit of the build quality of this TV, which is not bad. For the most part, this is made of plastic, so don't expect you know high quality materials like aluminum or steel or anything like that, but it looks nice and slick. Now this is a full array, but look at how nice and slim it looks. I mean, it's not bad for a full array, even though it's supposed to have a thick body, but it's not. It's very, very nice and slim. Now, another thing I noticed is the borders. So this is a bezel-less design, and I think it looks very nice and slick. So it's not gonna have this big old thick bezels. They're about less than a half inch thick, so very nice. Another thing I'd like to, to show you is the uh, the stand. So the legs, you have the option to have them almost at the center, but still it's a very good distance at the center. But then there's another option, like right here, that you can have the legs more towards the end of the TV. So let's say that you wanna put a sound bar or a sound system down here, you have that option. But I decided to just have them in the center option, and I think it's still a good distance. Actually, let me measure this to see how how wide this is. So there it is, the legs right now in the center option is about 40, uh, 40 inches wide, a little bit more than three feet. So if you're wondering how big of a furniture or TV stand you need, this is probably one of the options. If you want something bigger, you also have that option. Now, if you're wondering how high the TV is, Let's see right here. So it's about a little bit more than three inches. It's about a three inches and one quart of height. So if you have a maybe a soundbar that you want to sit down here, just keep that in mind, the measurement. And let's also measure how deep this is. So depth is about 11 inches. So that, those are the measurements that you are basically, basically going to be needing 11 inches depth and the height is about three inches. Now, another thing I noticed is that they included a cable management system. So on this side, this is the power on the right side. Notice the cable management goes through here and then it goes through the leg. And then from here, just goes through the power. But this is nice and clean. Let's check out the other side. Now, if you look at the TV at the front, on the left hand side is where the rest of the ports are. So right here we have an HDMI port, the LAN port for internet, and of course AV for audio and video as well. And then you have more connections over here. In total you have four HDMI ports, but just keep in mind they're all HDMI 2.0. Okay, so you are limited to that. 4K60, the cable port right over here, two USBs, and optical port for audio. And as well you have all the cable management here if you want to use that to make it look nice and clean. Now this is the remote, uh, to my taste, it's pretty large. You know, there's a lot of buttons, though of course the quick access, the input right here, input selection. This will give you access to the menu. You can get access to the TV right here. It's super easy to understand it. I mean, you guys will get familiar very quick. And also we have quick access to Netflix, YouTube, Google Play, and Voodoo right over here. All right guys, so this is an Android TV. I'm not very familiar with Android operating system, but so far it has been very easy to navigate. So over here on top, we have quick access to Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, Google Play Movies and TV. And then you can also add more apps just in case if you want to do that. Then down here we have quick access to YouTube, 
and then play music google music youtube kids pandora and then over here we have more apps of course disney plus is available here as well but you have dozens of applications that you guys can do you can also customize all the channels and everything it's very very intuitive very easy to use so now also you have live tv of course it has a built-in tv tuner and then over here we can select the inputs that you want to use let's go to settings real quick so i can show you the menus everything that you get access to of course picture sound i noticed that sound it also has Dolby Atmos. Wow, this TV has really good sound. Guys, let me tell you, if you, for any reason, if you don't have a sound bar or a sound system, you're just going to depend on your TV, this TV is gonna sound excellent. Very, very loud, very good. So anyways, let's go to inputs. You get access to inputs, parental control, networks, all the good, all the whistles, everything you get, you wanna change and customize. Over here, we'll, of course, we have the backlight, local dimming. Remember, this TV has local dimming, around 90 dimming zones, if I'm correct, which is not bad. It's not the best, but it's not that bad either. Over here, we have access to the backlight as well, automatic light sensor, just in case if you want to do that. I always recommend to turn this off because otherwise your TV is going to change the brightness depending on the uh, ambient light or the room that you have. So I always turn it off. I want to have full control of that. Over here, picture mode, we have standard. And then we have, of course, vivid standard energy. We got all the good ones if you want to use this TV for gaming. It has game mode. Of course, we need that. And then over here, we have access to regular settings, contrast, brightness, colors. Right now, I did modify this a little bit, but mostly everything is going to be out of the box. All right. Everything's out of the box. Now over here, we have access to activate HDR. This is very important. Right now, I can't do anything because I don't have anything connected through my HDMI. So if you want to turn on H HDR when you connect your consoles, your Xbox, your PlayStation 4 Pro, this is where you do it. All right, so let's go to advanced settings. And then we have a lot more settings. This is the color temperature. I noticed that it doesn't change. It doesn't say uh, warm or one warm one or warm two or cool it says low mid low medium and high so i what i did notice is that mid low it's similar to warm one and then low is like warm two it gets very very uh yellowish this is like a warm color so calibration settings we all have access we also have access to to that gamma i have it in gamma 2.2 gamma calibration i mean you have a lot a lot of features that you guys can uh, get access to this this is pretty nice all right guys so as soon as we turn on netflix you get access to dolby vision movies or streaming uh series have you guys seen this one extraction oh man with chris hemsworth this movie is pretty sweet highly recommended but as soon as you get access like i said you have you get dolby vision so of course things are going to change right here so let's go to picture real quick and then picture mode i have this one at energy saving i don't want to use that of course i want to use let's use standard right it's going to get brighter and over here you get to customize everything you're going to customize the contrast if you want a brighter image brightness of course i don't normally suggest to uh, increase the brightness because everything that you're going to do is just add more white throughout the whole screen so obviously the colors are going to look all washed out so if you want a bit of uh, a little bit more brightness just increase the contrast if you want also same with color and everything sharpness is at five hdmi format this the same deal i don't have anything connected just yet that advanced settings color temperature medium i want to use this to warm one there you go i don't know for some reason i like this but these are these are my own personal uh settings so over here in motion enhancement i'm going to change this to clear and that's, that's pretty much gonna be it. Noise reduction, medium, I'm gonna turn this off. I don't need this. Digital noise reduction, I don't need this either. But anyways, guys, this is my first initial, my first uh, look at this TV. I'm still gonna be playing with the settings and everything. I'm gonna change this to automatic. Look how beautiful this looks. This is amazing. I love this natural colors, very warm too but very colorful as well. I like this. 
Dolby Vision looks beautiful on this TV, guys. And of course, you also have access to HDR10, but I feel like Dolby Vision, the colors, it's a dynamic HDR, so colors look beautiful. Same with contrast. So another thing I noticed about this TV is that it can is able to achieve very deep black levels. You guys notice over here that it's almost no glowing, nothing. Looks very, very clean. So I like that. This is why it is important to have a really good local dimming. And even though this TV is only 90 dimming zones, I believe the uh, H9G uh, reaches up to 132 dimming zones. So obviously it's going to look better, but this is not bad either. Another thing I noticed is that the TV is not fully glossy. The reflections, the, uh, the coating on the TV is not fully glossy. I prefer fully gloss because it has deeper black levels. This is semi-gloss, but it still is not that bad. I really like it. All right, guys. So another really cool thing about this TV is that it has Google Assistant. All you have to do is just press the Google Assistant button on the remote control and ask for things. So let me ask for something. Show me movies in 4K. And there you go. You get access to all these movies and I guess you can click on this one. Let me see. Yeah, you can watch the trailer. You can rent the movie. You can buy the movie on Vudu if you want to. So that's pretty cool. Let's ask for something a little bit more complicated. Show me movies with Tom Cruise. There you go. All the, If you are a big fan of Tom Cruise, you have all the access to all his movies. I guess new movies coming up, everything. Very, very cool. Let me see. Let me ask. Hold on. Play Jolster videos on YouTube. All right. Here's Jolster videos on YouTube. Let me see. At Amazon. Oh, of course. Of course, a commercial. We're pretty good at solving problems. Hey guys, and there you go. Welcome back to the you channel. get access to. So, <laughs> wow, it even recognizes my name. Pretty awesome. So, another cool thing about this TV, guys, that I noticed is that if you like to watch over the air channels or maybe cable channels or maybe over IP, this looks beautiful. The upscaling on this TV looks clean, looks sharp, very colorful as well, but it's not going to be native 4k so don't expect this to look as sharp and as clean as 4k but you're not going to be disappointed this looks very very nice and clean all right guys so i'm going to finish this video remember this is my initial setup of this to be this is just my first look i'm showing you how it looks out of the box and i think this looks beautiful remember this is the 65 inch version this sells for $700, so if you don't want to break your wallet, you want to get a really good size, 65 inch I think is a really good size to be, with a really good features like HDR, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, this TV also has Dolby Atmos, and, and just a nice beautiful 4K picture for $700 and 65 inch, this is amazing. I believe the 55 inch version sells for $500. So if you don't want a 65, you want a 55 instead, you're gonna be saving 200 bucks right there. And I just wanted to show you this for last time and how beautiful the colors look, how beautiful the black levels are as well. This is not bad for the price. Let me turn up the volume just a little bit. And this is just level 10 and my God, the sound is so rich. It's, it's just, you can feel the sound around this room. I can't believe <laughs> how good it sounds. I'm surprised. But anyways, I don't want it to get too loud here. It is much better when you are in person, trust me. This is just the first show of this to be. Guys, I'm gonna be testing with my Xbox One X. I'm gonna be testing my PlayStation 4 in this TV, and probably my Nintendo Switch as well. So. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be having more videos. And also leave a comment. What do you want to see about this TV? Let me know in the comment section if you're interest, interested in seeing a specific game or specific settings or feature. Let me know in the comments below. All right. I'm Jolster and I'll see you guys in the next one. Jolster out.
Oh hey guys, Joster here. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. By the way, did you enjoy this content? If you like this kind of content, if you'd like to support this channel, first off, make sure you like and subscribe. And also you, you can become a member. Just hit that join button. You get access to some of the emojis that I created. And also you get early access to some of my videos, the aftermath of the live stream that I do. But mostly just want to support this channel hit that membership program. All right, I'm working on more videos right now, so make sure you stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys. Joe Stura.